one weekend, one essay, and a few cans of Coke have just completely destroyed my sleep schedule. super cool party people and welcome back to vlogmas day 14 there's only like 10 11 day i don't really know like i guess you, you you're supposed to post only till the 25th but then like what about stuff on the 25th anyways there is an amount of time left at the end of it won't really super affect me because i'm just gonna keep daily vlogging probably so a i'll just stop calling it vlogmas as you can see i'm at the theater I fell asleep at about three o'clock in the morning, which is fantastic. Love that for me. Uh, and I'm just gonna try to get through the next four hours. Hopefully I can survive. My friend and I did discuss going for a walk after I get off work today, so that might be a thing. And then we'll just see how productive the rest of the day is. I intend for it to be productive. Yesterday I mentioned how productive I want this week to be, but Oh, we'll see how zombie-ish I am. Right now, I'm currently okay. I brought another can of Coke for that caffeine jolt like midway through my shift, which should help me to keep going. And then, I mean, like, it's just, it's just gonna depend on what happens from there. But I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink, get this day started. So far, we're doing all right. I'm awake, we are good. Uh, but we'll see how that goes in another little bit. So I know I said that I would stop talking about my headphones and yes, I currently have them on because I want to show something. I have my phone right there, it's charging. It's this far away from me, okay? Like six feet, so I'm gonna turn my music on now. I can hear it, we're good, we're good, we're good. Is it not gonna do it now? Okay, this is lame because earlier, let's see if I turn, uh, now it's fine. It knows. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so I was literally standing right here. So like 20 feet away. And my headphones were cutting out like 20 feet away. And then of course I pick up the camera and it's like, no. But in any case, <laughs> wow, this is terrible lighting. In any case, this is terrible lighting. Let's see if I can fix this. So I've tried to like, slightly better. Um, I've switched to a different setting on my camera, which means I can change these settings while I am filming, which is exciting. I figured it out last night when I was setting up this camera as a webcam. I don't have the proper USB cable, so I've ordered one that's on the way, so we'll try that out later, but I think it's gonna work. Anyway, um, it's still, it shouldn't. I was standing here and it was cutting out. That's terrible. I like these headphones, but the range is a huge issue <laughs> if you're ever gonna leave your phone anywhere that's not in your pocket, just a heads up. Anyways, I'm just about done work here. I think it's about 11.30. As you can see, I'm clearly working hard. <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna go for a walk with my friend. I think, I don't know, we might just go for a ride. Wow, this camera's getting heavy. Yet another reason where I just have to get jacked in 2021 so I can hold up my camera without switching arms all the time. Anyways, we're gonna go for a walk or a ride or something. I'm not really sure. Hopefully a walk though because it's supposed to be nice today and it's supposed to be miserable for a couple more days but with my four hours of sleep, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna continue doing my working stuff and then I will... I did bring my GoPro so if we go for a walk I'll try to get some footage. If not, I We'll see you back at home where a nap may occur. Okay, so I just got home now. It is currently about two o'clock. I realized 1K into the walk that I forgot to grab my GoPro from my bag. I think part of the problem was I had grabbed my rain jacket out of my backpack and, and I was just so concerned about that and then like setting my watch to track our walk. But it's good, we did three and a half K, which is great considering it's been over two weeks since we got out um, together. And now, even though I'm pretty tired, I'm gonna try to just caffeinate and have a productive day. Step one, I'm gonna go start the oven <laughs> and then I'm gonna put my laundry in because it's not raining. And then I've got this jar along with like eight million up there <laughs> that I need to deal with. So this like, I'm still getting used to this this lighting, is that better? Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan. And then probably a lot of computer work. I've got a pretty lengthy list here of things I wanna do 
being both computer work and a little bit of like craft related things for Christmas presents. But that's where we're at. I'm gonna charge these mics too because they're getting close to dying because I've been using them a lot more frequently lately and um, we're just gonna we're just gonna try to get this done. snow is falling and the cold wind is blowing hard I'm locked inside tonight but my heart is somewhere else I'm thinking of you babe and all your crazy ways I miss you more right now it must be these holidays you know you're my everything, the only present I want And oh what I give to be with you under the mistletoe Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, yeah I got you on my mind Merry Christmas from a distance, I wish you were here tonight Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Yeah, I got you on my mind Merry Christmas from a distance I wish you were here tonight Oh, what I give to have you here, my dear We could sing and laugh about our wonderful year I can see it now, yeah, your lips stained from the wine And that sweet smile you have, your hand in mine Alrighty, so I've, had, I've been pretty productive, I ate a bunch of fries, cause you know, health queen uh, I'm just waiting for my laundry to be done at this point, but I got something in the mail and I have, I, I might know what it is, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's uh, open this up together. <laughs> I still might know what this is. There is something I was waiting for that had three similar things. But, like, it's, it says it's expedited and it got shipped ages ago. So, I don't know. Yes. It is what I thought it is. Let me open up the rest of them <laughs> and I'll show you. So if you'll remember, I think it was in November, I got these two medals here from the virtual challenge thing, uh, English Channel and Inca Trail. <laughs> and I've mentioned it before, but the next step up from that, it went from like 30 kilometers to like, I wanna say like 120 or something. I don't know, I don't exactly remember, but it felt like a really huge leap. So I was looking at other apps and whatnot that you could do the same thing just without going so quickly up to the next round. So I found the Pacer Adventure Challenge and I bought three. <laughs> but the thing, and I mentioned this in that video that I didn't like is they just send you the medal regardless of whether you finish or not. So the second you place the order, they just ship out the medal. And that sucked because those ones I had to work for, these ones they were coming regardless. Also, the way their app works is it just tracks based on off your phone. I couldn't figure out a way to make it solely manual adding, like with the virtual conquer challenge, I think that's what it's called. Um, I could have it, I could theoretically have it tracked from my watch, I could never figure that out, so I just gave up and manually entered everything. But if it was just tracking my phone, like I would just be at work and like I walk quite a bit at work, so I'd count that. So these didn't feel these didn't feel as great to earn, but that's okay. We're gonna we got the medals anyways. I'm gonna try to show you them in order. <laughs> I will say though that these boxes, like this packaging, is much nicer. Like, ooh. They've got like that. It's much nicer than the um, Conqueror Challenge, but we're gonna go in order. <laughs> and it's all in miles. Okay, so the first one is Machu Picchu. So basically the same as the Inca Trail, except it was interesting because they have like checkpoints along the way that you can look in on and they, they, were, they were different. The next one I did was the Grand Canyon. So there's the middle for that. That one's 22 miles. I cannot remember what these are in kilometers and 
Oh wait, it says on the back. Okay, Machu Picchu, nope, only 20 miles. Why does it always say on the back of one of them? Anyways, the last one was 24 miles or 40 kilometers, which is Mount Fiji. So, <laughs> there we go, there's all my medals. Um, it's actually really interesting because I specifically wanted to do theirs for the Mount Fiji because there wasn't a Mount Fiji in the Conqueror Challenge. And then, <laughs> like, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, they announced a Mount Fiji for, actually, I think it was like end of November, they announced Mount Fiji for, or Fuji, oh my goodness, wow, my brain, Mount Fuji, Fujisan, um, for the Conqueror Challenge. And that's actually the one that I am currently working on, but it's really interesting because this one says 40 kilometers. And I noticed that that was like just from the base to the summit, whereas the one on here is 74 kilometers. So I assume you go up and you come back down. So this actually reminds me that I do need to put my kilometers from today. Anyways, these finally showed up. It wasn't as satisfying because they come regardless. Fortunately, I did get the distances reached before I got them because I finished them I'd say like a week ago no probably more than that I don't remember when I finished them had to be over two weeks ago because I haven't done any walking in two weeks um but because I was tracking off my phone it, it wasn't like I went out and walked 40 kilometers outside it was like okay I walked around work and I walked for three kilometers at work today total because that theaters can be very big and so it, it didn't seem the same so from now on I will probably be sticking with the conqueror challenges because again accountability they don't send you that medal until you finish but this packaging is very nice all right with that I don't know I'm gonna look at my list and see what I have to do next I just want to use this computer to demonstrate how the memory card for this computer is looking it's not looking great it's like missing some of the plastic here and last night it got stuck in my computer and I had to chop that a little bit like look at it fortunately I do have this over here wait not that oh my god just pull it out this is like my storage selection as you can see I have a couple memory cards but this one is gold and this one is 128 gigs but I do have this handy little dude here and I feel like this will be safer I'm just gonna transfer some footage now because I just finished playing some more Islanders and it was enjoyable and I just want to transfer the footage and make sure it all gets saved into the same working file together and then I don't know I kind of feel like having a nap but I think I should take a look at my list also it's like 5 16 so it's probably not nap time um and maybe I should like deal with my clothes so we'll see maybe I should have more caffeine that might help this is the slippery slope we have gone down hello good people <laughs> it's like 7 30 I've had dinner now and I'm just editing a video Oh, my brain, it's not going well. Fortunately, the editing is just some more of me playing Islanders, which I had a great time. I don't know when this video is gonna go up, maybe not like the day you're watching this, but like the day after, um, but I had a good time. I'm trying to, I think I wanna get ready to climb into bed at like eight o'clock today, which is in 35 minutes, and I have about 30 minutes of footage left to edit. It'd be great if I can get this edited today and then maybe just export it tomorrow. But I'm just, I'm so tired. I've done a lot on my list. I just, I have clothes over there that technically need to be hung, but I think I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow. I've sent a couple emails and then there's some crafting stuff that I would want to work on, but I'm just so tired. So the goal is to either get this finished or eight o'clock, depending on which happens first. <laughs> or if I'm like really close, I'll just finish it and then just climb into that bed, put on a movie or something and just pass out. It's just, I've been burning the, the 3 a.m. oil. I, the problem is, like I was mentioning earlier, it's my sleep schedule got so screwed up over the weekend and I am paying for it now, like three days into it. So fingers crossed, I can not only like sleep better tonight, um, but then also like, there we go, that's better. Um, but then also not sleep in super late because I do have a ton of stuff that I want to do tomorrow. I want to get some mail packed up and ready to go because timelines are getting short for that. 
and I want to start working on my last craft project that I need to work on for Christmas. I was hoping to do that today, but it ain't gonna work. My like eyes are going cross-eyed, but it's fine. We've been working hard. We've been putting out a lot of content and just getting things under control, so it's it's okay. We did it. It is 8.05. I look like a zombie. I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm gonna change my PJs. I'm gonna take my contacts out and wash my face and go to sleep. Like, literally, I can't keep my eyes open. Uh, so with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure and Vlogmas Day 14, and I'll see you tomorrow for vlog... For Vlogmas Day 15. That's how we're doing. <laughs> Good night.